What's up everyone? So today will be the fifth part of my solid objects tutorial. We'll be looking at the icosahedron. Uh, basically a sphere made out of uh, pentagonal pyramids or basically triangles, whatever you want to call it. Our layers are, are already set up here with the icosahedron. Now let's get rid of my example so we, so we can get started. Okay, first off we're going to start with a polygon. Give it five uh, sides, give it an edge. And now make the coordinates 0, 0, 1, 0. Uh, basically the same thing as my dodecahedron tutorial. Let's see, uh, now let's make a polygon with three sides, edge again, basically the triangles that will uh, complete our first pentagonal pyramid. And now the coordinates will not be necessary since we already have our points here, like that. We're going to need an another one here, so let's repeat the previous command, three, uh, three sides, edge, then from here to, to there. Hmm, came out on the other side, which means we need to, need to have to make a mirror. And exceptionally, we're going to actually erase our source object. Let's give it a uh, region command. We're going to need to fill these up. I won't be filling up the pentagon because uh, it will disappear at the end of, of this tutorial which means it will not be essential for the polygon, only to help build it. Now let's set up our UC axis so we can then rotate and align these two triangles. Right here in the middle, all the way to the furthest vertex, and then Using this command, just just put in zero comma zero comma one hundred. Hmm. Now let's make a circle once again from the center of the axis all the way to the f furthest point, just like in my dot k drawn tutorial. Then UCX double enter to put it back on its world preset and then just repeat the same method for this triangle. Here in the middle, furthest vertex, 0, 0, 100, and then make another circle from the center all the way to the furthest ver uh, vertex. And now we have this intersection here. Let's use the align command to make this rotation. Here from this vertex we click it twice, same thing here, and then let's rotate this all the way to the, to the intersection. Good, looking good. And now instead of, instead of repeating the process for this face, let's use the old polar array method. Array classic polar array, five faces, 360 degrees. Let's select our face, let's select our point of rotation here, then click o OK. Oh, <laughs> I guess I uh, forgot to change the UCS axis back to its world preset. Happens all the, happens all the time. So now let's try the array classic again. All, all in place. Let's just select our triangle, select the specified point, and there it is. So the first pentagonal pyramid of our icosahedron is now finished. Let me just get rid of this, uh, this pentagon here. I'm going to need to select everything and now deselect the triangle so we can get rid of that. Okay. Now here, now here's the trickiest part: how to, to make pentagonal tr um, pyramids, which are uh, basically all interconnected. I use a a method which is a bit tricky, 
yet I think it's the simplest one there is. So we have to erase one of our faces and now we're going to need to place our UCS axis in a rather odd position. So let's just click the UCS. So the trick I use is to place it, uh, to place the UCS on the furthest uh, vertex to the intersection vertex of the triangle we removed and then to the opposite vertex of, the, of our rotation point right here. And now all we have to do is an Array Classic, select our triangle, which is now aligned with the axis, five faces, 360 degrees, and now let's specify our on-screen point, which, which, will, which will be here. Once again, as, as, uh, as I said, the, the furthest vertex, the intersection vertex and the opposite ver uh, vertex. Click OK and we've made another one of our pentagonal uh, pyramids. And this is basically it. I mean we, we have to keep on repeating this process until we finished our icosahedron. So uh, we have to go around and find out a place where, where we can repeat the process. Many of you might be asking, why do we have to remove the uh, triangle? I mean, why not just keep it? In this case, we can do it here. Why not, uh, why not just keep this triangle here? Well, the thing is, when we try to make a polar array, if we keep the uh, triangle which we want to remove, uh, will end up having faces which will be on top of other faces. Now in this sort of tutorial that is not a problem yet if you want to make a 3D print of this object it might it might cause a few a few issues since you're um, placing faces on top on top of each other basically uh, creating doubles. This is a good spot where to repeat the method. Let's get rid of this triangle here and now as I said before oh wait actually let me just put the UCS back in its world preset and now yes we can repeat the process so UCS as I said before the furthest vertex the intersection uh, vertex and then the opposite vertex we make the array classic again everything is in, is, is in place let me just select the face select the, the vertex, always this one, and then click, click OK. And four more vertexes have been generated. We, we have about half of the icosahedron done. Let's see, another place where we can start from. Maybe here, these two faces. Let me just put the UCS back in its original position. So, let's get rid of this one here and once again UCS furthest vertex uh, intersection uh, vertex and the opposite vertex it sounds it sounds tricky at the beginning but you'll get the hang you, you'll you'll get the hang of it over time press ok yeah just like that we keep on repeating the process until we, c we complete it. Here, as you can see, we have another place where we can place a uh, fully made pentagonal pyramid. Let's just get rid of this face again. And as I said before, and I'll say it again, wait, hmm. just to make sure it's, the UCS is on its world preset. Ah, it, it wasn't. If we don't reset our UCS position, the faces might come might come out wrong. Once again, U, uh, UCS, the opposite vertex to this point here, the intersection vertex of the face we removed, and then the opposite vertex. And now we can do the array classic. 
select our face and then select the polar array point almost complete we are we are let's say let's see about we are three faces away from finishing it and we can use this part here let's get rid of this one and now for the last uh, command oh I think I forgot to put it back on the world preset okay and now indeed for the last command UCS on the furthest vertex on the intersection vertex and then on the opposite vertex to finish it just make the last array classic select this face here and then specify the point on screen right uh, can see it very well right here and as you can see we have oh uh, put the UCS back and now as you can see we have a fully finished fully filled <sighs> icosahedron made out of these pentagonal interlocking uh, pyramids or maybe just tri triangle faces I've noticed now that I've been doing this tutorial all in shaded view so let's just give it a perspective view actually sh shaded style actually said that one wrong yeah and that's pretty uh, that's pretty much how, how you make an icosahedron hope the fifth part of my solid objects tutorial has been useful for you see you next time